Kay Stewart from JTS again here today. Now, another little DIY project, and we have a lot of people come into the shop and buy the bits to do the job. And we have no problems with that because that is a lot of satisfaction in doing your own work and it's good to know how things go together so you know how to fix them if there's a problem. But there's one thing that I am guarantee you nearly every four-wheel driver would have done or may have done correctly and that is the old Standerson 50 amp Anderson plug. We see hundreds of these, we use hundreds of these so it's a really popular thing to use, really good waterproof joiner for 50 amps and under, okay? So what we're gonna to do today is just show you how we put an Anderson plug onto a bit of uh, 8 BNS wire. Now we usually run 8 BNS, a lot of shops don't, but we do. It's a nice thick wire, a little bit dearer, but it's the best way to do it. So what you basically do is you work out, basically the, the clips here have to go inside there, which I'll show you in a sec. So you want to, don't wanna have all this wire exposed. So we only bear just enough wire that we need. So I'm gonna go back in about 50 mil, two inches, old school. So go in there, again, carefully removing the outer sheath. That's a twin core wire. So as you can see, I've exposed equal lengths, the positive and the negative. This little clip here has to be soldered onto here. So we're gonna work about eight to 10 mil back and bear that back, again, nice even. And we'll do the same to the negative side. So they're both nice and even, okay. Just twirl those up so there's no complications getting them into the clip. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to flood solder these. So we're going to have molten solder in there and we're going to push the fitting in. Some people crimp them or other ways. We solder them in this way so that we could reuse them if we have to. So what I'll do is I'll get this started up with a torch, get some solder started in there. Again, using these little crimpers to hold it. These are actually a, an old alligator clip. These are perfect. And as you can see, that solder's starting to get a bit hot. Now, the secret is, not to get it too hot, but also not to fill it to the very top, because what's gonna happen, as you insert the wire, it's gonna just push out of the fitting. And as you can see, I've got that about half full. So you gotta be nice and quick, keep it nice and warm. I bear it back the positive side of the wire here, get it nice and full, and just very carefully insert it into it. Just hold it there for a second while the, uh, the solder starts to cool, it will bond into the wiring. Obviously, this is what they call a flood soldered joint, hence the flood solder. And there you go, that is a nice solid, as you can see, fitting, no problems there at all. You can also heat shrink this if you wanna make it look a little bit neater, the boys do that here in the workshop, but it doesn't have to be done, it's inside the clip. So we just repeat the same thing, I'll do it again for you guys at home. Flood solder the joint again. Filling up the little clip with solder. Doesn't take much to get them hot. These are designed to get hot. They don't have to stort or anything. Introducing that solder once it gets warm. Once it starts to get warm, you'll see the solder again. Not wanting to go too much. About halfway is enough. Keeping it warm. Get a solder here. Okay, so that's a nice warm solder. Again, we've got the negative side of this, keeping it nice and warm. Just very carefully push it in. You can see the solder then come to the surface, which is just the right amount. Again, holding it till it cools enough. And there you go. Two nice, ready to fit into the clip fitting. So what we then do is we grab our Anderson plug. Now, the Anderson plugs are a generic plug, so male and female, it doesn't matter. They're both the same. They do clip into themselves. Those at home have used them before. Um, we use them in everything, like I said before. So what we want to do is wait for these to cool enough that you can touch them quite comfortably. And we're going to slide this into there. Now, as you can see there, there's a little tab. This, that edge has to clip over that. I've had Anderson plugs before where people have said they don't work real good, and you go in and it hasn't locked in properly inside. So obviously, positive representing red. And you can feel it, and you, with this solder joint, you'll feel it start to push in. Make sure it's straight and then you hear it, and you hear that click noise. Then when you have a look inside, you see that at home, it's nicely located in there. Again, we'll do the same with the negative side. Push it in. Again, when you flood solder these, they, they stay semi-rigid. If you struggle with this, you can get a little screwdriver at the end there and open up that jaw a little bit better. As you can see, I'm sort of struggling with this. There we go. Yeah, they are a very firm fit makes them a good fitting. And there you hear that click noise. So there you go. That is how 
you put an Anderson plug onto wire successfully. Nice and located inside there, nice and neat, no exposed wiring. You can pull that sheath up or you can put some split tube over that if you want. And that is what we do on a daily basis. Well, there you go. So, not a real complex thing to do, but what does make it very easy for us is the right tools. And these tools are available from JTS as well. So if you need stuff to do the job, you can buy all the parts here, but you can also buy the tools that we use here on a daily basis in the workshop to get the job done. So come down and see us at the new shop and uh, good luck with your DIY project this weekend. Make sure you come and check us out. We're at 7 Charles Court, just off Maroochydore Road, right beside the Bunnings Trade Centre. You can't miss us.